Now let's go over limiting reactants. So we have this chemical equation, and what I'm gonna start by doing is balancing it. Because notice here that we have unbalanced hydrogens, and we have unbalanced oxygens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a two coefficient on the H2O. I have unbalanced oxygens. But what I'm now gonna do is take a two and put it on O2. So we have a balanced equation now. So notice here that we have two moles of methane and five moles of oxygen gas. We're gonna start with the two moles of methane. I'm gonna multiply it by the ratio of coefficients that we have on carbon dioxide and methane. So what I'll have is one mole of carbon dioxide over one mole of methane. Now if I cancel the methane, that's just gonna give me two moles of carbon dioxide. Now let's go ahead and do this with the five moles of oxygen. I'm gonna take five moles of oxygen gas, and I'm gonna multiply it by the coefficients. Notice we have a one coefficient here and a two coefficient here. We can cancel the moles of oxygen, giving us five times one over two, which is 2.5 moles of CO2. Notice how we form 2.5 moles here, and we form two moles here. Which one's correct? Well, the correct one is gonna be whatever the smaller number is, because this is gonna be your limiting reactant. Two moles of CO2 is gonna be the final answer to this problem.